There we go. Best comment right there in the world. Lenny. What's going on, Lenny? Bearded Beast Dad. What's up, full-time Ferocious Nate? I am so glad you mentioned that. It was my last week at, I will say it now, it was my last week at Fidelity Investments. Great company. I worked for Fidelity since 1998. Fidelity Investments um, started in Rhode Island uh, in the corporate security world. Moved to Texas in 2007 with Corporate Security Group, uh, still for Fidelity. And uh, my last role was with the um, corporate accounts payable. Uh, and it's just been an amazing ride. I can't believe it's been uh, 23 years since I started at Fidelity. And I am got nothing but great things to say about that company. I, I had a wonderful, wonderful career. The people there were really great. And, um, and now... I've retired. I took what's called a VBO, a voluntary buyout, and um, so I. It gives me this amazing opportunity to work full time, doing what I love doing, my own thing, uh, ferocious beard company. Uh, so I am forever grateful to Fidelity for giving me that opportunity, and so thank you very much. Um, and thank you guys very much for being here. I am so excited. This is the first Ferocious Friday Free For All uh, that I am like, you know, on my own. This is it. This is it. Right? Where is it? It's over there. It's over there. Ferocious. That's it. That's what I'm doing right now. So I, I am so psyched about the future. I've got all these plans in my head and now I'll actually have the time to implement a lot of those plans. So cannot wait to see what the future holds. It's been great. I started in 2017 part-time doing this um and now i'm just super super psyched about that so i'm super psyched i'll have all the time to work on things i wanted to work on but i just haven't had the time so um be sure to hang on for the ride because it's going to be a hell of a ride guys and we're going to have a great time we're going to grow together and i really encourage you guys to uh stick with me and see how things go um, be sure to hit the like and subscribe if you have not hit that like and subscribe button before. Uh, I want you to follow me and see what's going on. Let's see who else is here tonight. So looks like Big Man Bearded is in the house. He was the first to register a comment here. So thanks for being here, brother. Andre, the tattooed or tatted bearded vet one. Thank you, sir, for your service. And I'm glad you're here. Yes, as Robert Young says, hit the like button, please. Hit it like it owes you money. So I hope you're doing well, brother. Thank you so much for being here. Ryan is in the house. What's going on, Ryan? So glad to see you, brother. Thank you for being here, man. Um, who else is here? Oh, I already mentioned Lenny's here. So thank you for that awesome uh, introduction. Full-time Ferocious Nate. That is right. Uh, Aldemir, bald and beautiful. Keeping cool. Yes. And um, happy 4th of July, guys. This is uh, one of my favorites the red white and berry smirnoff ice cheers to all of you so glad to be able to join you guys tonight for this fourth of july um weekend weekend show i can't believe it's already the fourth of july holy moly this time just flies by so fast so michael zarati what's up my brothers how's it going you sneaking in over on facebook side of the house good to see your family photo there man um, but let's see how many people are here. We've got um, two over on Facebook and we've got nine on YouTube. So glad you are here, brother. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you're on Facebook or if you are on YouTube. Uh, everything still applies. We're going to do giveaways. And of course, tonight we're going to do some pretty cool giveaways. We're going to do the $50 giveaway for the mobile app orders that were um, received by Ferocious during the month of June. I've got 14 orders that came in via the mobile app orders. So so all of those will be eligible to win a $50 gift card. Um, also, Instagram, I posted something. I wanted you guys to guess the correct name on IG um, of a city. And there were four of you on Instagram. Uh, Bruce City Bearded, Camo Cam 1003, Robinette 9415, and Maitland Ryan. Uh, those four have uh, answered correctly. It was the city of Austin, Texas. So each of you will be entered into a giveaway for a $25 gift card to Ferocious. So we'll be doing that in a little bit. Um, and don't forget, we always do a $10 bonus giveaway anytime I get a purchase during this broadcast. So we've got that going on too. Plus we'll do our normal giveaways that we do uh, throughout our Friday night evening. So that's what's going on, guys. A um, couple other things we'll I'll be talking about, but um, let's see who else is here. E-Rock is in the house. What's going on, brother? Good to see you, man. Thank you for jumping in on here. 
Um, man, what a night. What a night. Um, Brian Hershey is in the house. What's going on, Brian? Glad you're here, brother. Um, <laughs> Michael says he was on Facebook and wondering where everyone was. You're right, man. We need to build up our Facebook audience. We've got like 2,300 uh, or so subscribers on Facebook. But what I usually have been doing um, is when I post something on Instagram, I cross post it to Facebook. But I really need to allocate some time to the Facebook side of the house too, which, hey, how about that? I'll have some time to do that now. So that'll be great. Uh, so I can't wait to really get that going too. Uh, Tommy Robinette is in the house. What's going on, Tommy? Glad you're here, brother. Thank you so much for jumping in over here on uh, the Ferocious Friday Free For All. Mike Watson is here. How are you, Mike? Can't wait to hopefully um, see you later this this uh, this year, right? next month, I guess. August. August, next month. So um, hopefully we can work some time into your schedule to swing on through Fort Worth. That would be awesome. Um, nice being your own boss. It is. It really is. But it's like, you know, there's two... There's two sides to that it's like holy crap i'm my own boss i can do anything then it's like holy crap i'm on my own boss what am i going to do you know what's what's happening next what how will i keep people interested but i'm sure we'll figure it all out together so uh, all i know is i work for you guys um uh so technically you're my boss all of you so can't wait to really get started from a fresh set of full full-time eyes i'm really psyched about that um Let's see. Andrew says, hey, I told you I was, uh, you're giving out Whataburger gift cards. Well, that would work except for the people that are far away from Texas. Um, I think there might be a few in Florida, but Whataburger, there are just not that many outside of Texas. So have to figure out something about that, you know, but uh, you're right though. Um, that would definitely help. It can't hurt. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, what's going on, Bearded Beta? Congratulations, brother. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, man. Um, that is awesome that, um, I'm, that, that it's happening. I mean, I, I, I still can't believe it. You know, it's, it's, it's just really, I'm psyched about that. So thank you very much. Um, let's see. I hope you can visit Pete. Yeah. Um, when you say Pete, just double check. Pete over there at, um, Damned Yankee. Because I'll be happy to meet up with him anytime. Uh, I've already got a favorite spot picked out um, called Frescoes, actually, and it's in Watauga, which is the same city that he lives in. So he can't say it's too far. Uh, but I would certainly be uh, willing to meet with Pete anywhere in the DFW area. Um, oh, so you t Tommy says there's Whataburger in North Carolina. Okay. Well, that's good, man. They're, they're making their way then, unless they've had them for a while. Because I know, like, I hadn't seen a Whataburger till I moved to Texas in 2007. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I'm always up to meet with Pete. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, in fact, I was his first order. In other words, when he opened his company, I placed an order. And according to him, I was his first order. And he actually hand-delivered it to me and dropped it off at my house. But I wasn't home at the time, so he left it there. Um, it was an iced tea scent that he had. And boy, it, it smelled exactly like sweet iced tea. It was really, really nice. Um, yeah, Big Man Bearded says, Andrew, Texas Night is an amazing scent. That is an amazing scent. And I'm really, really glad that um, we've got that on the site. And Andrew came up with that. It was just an amazing, amazing scent. Uh, so it will be on the site for the foreseeable future. And we'll see how sales go with it. So, um uh, Alfredo's here. Alfredo, CEO of Paranormal Beer Company, Contreras. What's going on, Alfredo? Thank you, man. Appreciate that. I'm so psyched. So thank you so much for being here. Um, let's see. Iced tea, the wrapper. That does sound good, though. Oh, man, it was like a sweet iced tea. It was really good. I mean, I don't have it anymore because I used it all, but it was just a really, really good scent. And the consistency was was similar to mine, so I really liked how that worked. Um, and Tommy says, yeah, Texas Night as well as Sublime, which Sublime is actually the one I have in my beard right now. Um, I just kind of like, so I was at the uh, a water park here. Um, it's a small water park called NRH2O in North Richland Hills. It's kind of a, it's a city owned one. And um, I took my daughters there and one of my daughter's friends and we were just hanging out and stuff. And that's how I got that picture earlier for the show. Um, but it's a chlorine pool, so I mean, my beard got all sorts of dried out and stuff like that. So um, I ran some um, 
peppermint cherry tobacco beard wash through my beard um, maybe about a half hour ago and then I put some sublime beard oil in and it's like it's just totally restored itself back to normal so I'm I'm really happy about how that product how both the wash works because it it really makes that beard of yours um, it takes all the dryness out of it I have a little bit of glycerin I put into it to really kind of make it go through your hands and your beard really well it doesn't pull out hairs and stuff like that and uh, really really uh, works out well so um, but like trying to do that like trying to run my beard like my hand through my beard you know earlier today it was just like <laughs> because it was so dried out so I'm really I always think about like what can I make that you know we can carry with us to just spray in our beards during a dry day uh, to maybe just kind of re revive it a little bit and I'm still working on that I'm not sure exactly what we can do but um, that's something I'll be thinking about, especially during the summer months. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what ingredients I'll use yet, but I think, you know, I definitely have a great test bed with the backyard and stuff like that. So, um, Michael says he can uh, hear the excitement in my voice. You can't type as much because you're loading your car for another trip to North Carolina. You'll be back in Texas on Labor Day. You're hearing, uh, I'm here listening though, brothers. Oh, awesome, Michael. Um, how long a trip is that for you now? Like how many hours should we be driving? And um, you're right. I do have some excitement in my voice. Obviously, I'm totally psyched about that. And uh, it's phew, the sky's the limit. I mean, with anything we do, as long as we put our, you know, our heart, our soul uh, into it and we be truthful with people and we, you know, we listen to people. I listen to people. I listen to what your needs are. What are you looking for? And then I, my job is to make that for you. And then that's how that's how success happens. Um, it doesn't happen by saying, hm, you know, I've got all these products here. Now, how can I sell them to you? That's not how success works. It works by listening to people and listening to what they want, listening to, you know, feedback, um, asking questions, and then saying, okay. I got it. Try this and see what you think. Offer a money back guarantee. That's what I do. And if you like it, you'll probably keep it. If you don't, I'll refund your money and, and that's how it goes. You know, um, so, you know, I've, I'm definitely putting my heart and soul into this. I'm going to have the time to do what I want to do with Ferocious. Um, and I'm just really, really looking forward to kind of converting it over to more of a full-time operation which I'm going to be starting on the 5th of July which is just on Tuesday um, now I've been thinking about it all this time but the 5th of July is when I take it um, officially full-time so um, yes Andre says like a hydrating mist exactly like a hydrating mist that's you know if if it's water-based we need to have some preservatives in it just because water you know can can grow bacteria if you don't have some sort of preservative but I don't know I mean the sky's the limit um, there's any number of things I can use and the, the the goal and the challenge is to find something that's convenient to carry that's um, you know not going to be greasy it's going to work and you're gonna say okay this works this is what I need to make my beard feel better after a day at the beach or in the pool or something like that w working in the sun all day and you didn't put beard oil in for some reason you know what I mean those types of things so um, let's see um, oh Lenny says he's rocking sublime tonight too awesome Lenny that I know exactly how you smell brother <laughs> uh, uh, Andrew says how were the how bad was the storms in my area last night they were bad actually we had some winds um, but uh, we had very little rain and today they were saying we we're supposed to have rain but we really didn't have much rain and I they were saying we we're supposed to have like 40% chance of thunderstorms during the day we lucked out we didn't have any and it was a great day to go to the water park because it was like cooler than normal it was gray skies and white skies so it wasn't super sunny which meant that the um, air temperature wasn't that hot there weren't that many people at first and you know we got chairs we went kind of early so it was good Um, let's see, E-Rock says, Fetish is my first smoky scent, and it's interesting. I wore it once, but I need uh, more my most to adjust, so more time to, I guess, to adjust. Yes, Fetish is a, definitely a unique scent. 
Um, interesting. That's a good way to put it. It is an, an interesting scent. Um, the clove, you know, um, that definitely is an interesting dynamic to the to the scent. Plus, fireplace embers really kind of like changes the. That's kind of like I was kind of going for like a cologne. Uh, not so much perfume, but like the whole scent of the smoke, the Texas cedarwood, uh, the. Uh, clove because again I mentioned you know like clove cigarettes were popular back in the early 90s in clubs and stuff like that and so I wanted to kind of capture some of that too um, but I like how it's not too much clove it's not super heavy on cloves and and honestly it's the fireplace embers that really balances it out so that's what I really um, think makes that scent is is the really the fireplace embers that kind of which smells different than amber by the way um, it's just got kind of a, a deeper, richer smell than amber, I think. Um, yeah, oh, you need your nose to adjust. Yeah, I get you, man. Hmm. Uh, let's see, Aldemir, uh, Bald, Bears, Bald and Beardful is wearing fetish oil and butter today. Awesome. Yeah, I really, really enjoy that smell. So that means more Rough Riders games. Exactly, absolutely, more Rough Riders games. Um, and I'm always up for that. And Ryan says he's got the Havana Getaway in today. Oh, man, that's another one. That Havana Getaway is a great scent, and I appreciate that. Uh, Tiki says, what are your own personal beer goals with retirement? You know, I've been thinking about that. A um, couple of things. Uh, the first thing is my own personal beer grow goals are I want to keep growing it. I want to see where my terminal growth stops. I'm curious about that. And when I talk about that, I'm talking about length. Because it's been pretty lengthy. And even when I look at pictures from even a few months ago, it seems like it hasn't grown that much more down. So I'm wondering if this is my terminal length. But I'm going to keep experimenting and see where that is. The second thing I want to do is I would like to trim the sides, like the, the rear of it down. Uh, because I want it to be, I don't want it to be out so much this way. I want to have it kind of follow the contour of my neckline and my beard line now down and just so it looks a little bit more like this rather than like this so those are my immediate goals i don't know about my five to ten year plans but that's my six month goal is to see what i can do about that um i don't want to you know i'm not going to shave i'm not going to convert this to a goatee um i may see about like experimenting war more with my mustache to see what I might be able to do with that so it almost has its own personality compared or contrasted to my beard so it's like rather than just one you know beard and mustache together I might just kind of like have it where there's I don't know a, a definition between my mustache and my beard um, I will. I promise you, even though it's kind of interesting, I will not grow two mustaches. I've seen that's kind of become a, a thing lately, is people will kind of mimic their mustache down here, and they'll have two mustaches. Have you, have you guys seen that before? Uh, well, Michael says it's about a 19-hour drive from uh, Texas to North Carolina. Wow, that's crazy. You know why I say that? Because it's about a 25-hour drive up to Connecticut from Texas. So, in North Carolina, doesn't seem like it's that far, but I guess it really is, depending on where you're leaving from Texas. So, and and you turn 41 on July 5th. Well, happy early birthday, brother. Um, that's a that's really cool, man. 41. So you're you're catching up to me. I turned 50 June 17th. So, that's uh that's awesome. Um. Now, Tiki turned 41 or a little over a month ago. Well, happy belated birthday to you, Tiki. Um, Robert says, uh, I really enjoy fetish. Yeah, I'm glad you do, man. Uh, fetish is a slap you in the face with your mama's paddle type scent. <laughs> yeah, right? So thank you, mistress. <laughs> fetish is a slap in the face. Yeah, it is it is a good scent, though. Um, Mike says he's rocking the collaboration corner beast mode today. There you go, Mike. Oh, man beast mode that's awesome that's another good scent there's so many scents and by the way you guys uh i have a code out now to save you 25 percent through the 5th of july just in time for your birthday uh michael uh it ends at 11 59 on the 5th of july and that will the code is uh bang 
B-A-N-G. Why bang? Fireworks. Fireworks make bang sounds. So I said, why not have a simple code called bang? It'll save you 25% at Ferocious through the weekend, through Monday. So um, be sure to use that code if you want to save 25%. Oh, I got an order today from somebody that I used to that we used to hang out periodically, and I have not been in touch with him for a while. And he just placed an order today. Uh, I gotta get in touch with him. He's he's a good guy. Um, and he lives in Fort Worth, so he got the Havana Getaway bomb. So let's see. Robert says I have the Texas Night combo en route, and can't wait to mix fetish with the other butter. Oh, that would be an interesting mix. That would be really really interesting. Um. So Erock says his terminal beer growth is five and a half inches. Okay, five and a half, and then after that it just stopped. So I'm wondering, like, is it just going to get thicker, or does it? Uh, what happens? I've noticed, like, especially when I use that comb, that Chicago comb. Uh, I love the comb, but it, it, I think it's just because it's just naturally time for the certain hairs to pop up, but they're popping out. Um. So let's see here. Let me get the scent profile. Hold on one second. So let me bring up beast mode because I've made so many um, collab scents that I sometimes I can't just rattle them off the top of my head. Uh, so be I'm gonna search. I'm gonna Google beast mode ferocious and see if it comes up. Uh, one. Oh, it's the second listing on Google, which is cool. Followed the first listing was Beast Mode, the movie, I guess, <laughs> called Beast Mode from 2020. So, um, number two on on Google for Beast Mode. Uh, search Beast Mode Ferocious, and basically here's how I described it. I described it as a pretty damn spot on recreation of jupe cologne for men, minus the expensive price. It's a very strong masculine scent of cherry, tobacco, cedar, leather, and warm embers. I highly recommend this one, gentlemen. It's really, really good. Uh, it's also very similar to Ferocious Savage, but with added warmth from the fireplace amb embers. So basically, I kind of named it Savage 2 or Jupe. There it is. But if you're familiar with the scent of the men's cologne Jupe, it's very similar to that. It's cherry, tobacco, cedar, leather, and fireplace embers. Um, I really, really thought that was a nice one. Um, I was surprised it didn't sell more, but um, let me see. Let me take a look at sales of that one just because I'm curious now. Beast mode. I like to go every now and then just to take a peek. So that one, let's see. Last 90 days. Last 90 days sold two units to one customer. So it's not really a big seller. Um, and looks like it was sold back in uh, April 16th was the, the last, uh, April 17th, sorry, April 17th was the last time it sold. So, um, so yeah, that being the case, me starting to take this really seriously, I'm going to be looking at those analytics and stuff. And so things that aren't selling, we'll be pulling them off the site at some point, um, I think about a month or so after the last sale. So I would say if it sounds really appealing to you, try to grab it if you can. So, so it, there. I hope that describes. Um, I hope that describes it. Uh, Ryan says, "Yeah, that's a that's a horrible look. The the two mustaches, right? I know. I've seen that man. Uh, and I'm like, what, what, what? I I don't know. <laughs> but there's more than one. There's more than one, which means there's a trend. So I don't know what the deal is, but um, you know, people people just do that." <laughs> Uh, okay, so you've been eyeing that one for a while. I read the profile. Yeah, it is a good one. I really enjoy that one. Although I used to like Jupe a lot. So uh, Michael says, I don't think I'm going to catch up to you. That's not how birthdays work. Okay, Michael. So what if I jump on a, some sort of spaceship and I can figure out how to get to the speed of almost the speed of light and then come back in a year? Then you'll probably be older than me. Maybe I'll just go for three months. So that way you'll be like 60 and then I'll be 50 and a half. I don't know. I've been watching some stuff on um, space, like the speed of light and stuff like that, just because I find it's kind of interesting. Uh, but anyway, I just thought of that when I, when you said that. <laughs> so, Sway Sana, what's going on, brother? Good to see you, man. Thank you so much for jumping on here. 
Great picture, by the way. I like that picture. Is that you? Is that a hand holding um a bouquet, a rose, or a bouquet of flowers, or something? That's cool. Um, yeah. So it's your understanding that humidity will also cause the hairs to come out. Well, that could be. That could happen. I could see that being, you know, the case. It's not super humid in the Dallas Fort Worth area, although this past couple of weeks it has been. But there's something about that comb, though. That I think it's just the way. It, it's got really wide teeth and so it kind of when things have wide teeth I tend to to comb longer and I probably am combing more than I really need to um, but yeah uh, let's see uh, your stops at about six inches then gets very thin at the bottom oh not 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 anything to do with that Jeff thanks for letting you know about that but gets thin at the bottom after six inches okay I was with, wanted to mention something else I had been thinking about the other day, and I was talking to Barb about that. Um, so I was thinking, with all this gray hair in my beard, which I don't mind personally. I don't mind the gray beard. It's like gray. It's kind of like a, a, a brownish red. And um, so it got me to thinking, you know, what can you use? Let's say, let's just say you wanted to like color your beard for I don't know an event or something you're going to an event and you're like you know what I want to make my beard a little browner so I I have been researching using coffee and you can like use coffee and uh, for temporary coloring of it that's a natural coloring of it the only problem really I think would be that it's gonna smell like coffee I tested myself with um, just some natural essential coffee oil or coffee essential oil. Didn't do anything uh, other than make my beard really smell like coffee. So um, that doesn't work. But there is, I think, based on some uh, preliminary research, some if you were to take like some actual uh, coffee and like let it cool off obviously and there's coffee beans like or coffee grinds and you actually put that into your beard that can actually stain your beard temporarily just something i was thinking about because i mean i like the natural look i don't mind it at all and it goes against everything i've read about the people with white beards or gray beards who don't want anything to stain their beards and i get that but for those of you that are interested that might be something if you're interested in seeing if you can get your beard a little darker you, I think you can do that, and and like everyone here is saying, yeah, like um, E Rock saying, I would never uh, color my beard. I look forward to the grays. Yeah, I mean, I'm like the same way. Other than I was just experimenting with the other one. Um, yeah, embrace the gray. Uh, Jeff says mine's all gray now with just a bit of red. Never dye it. Embrace the gray. Yeah, absolutely. I just know that like there's there's some people that like I would never want to like. I can just imagine. Can you imagine like one day I showed up and it was like jet black. Like you remember that spray people would put on their hair and then and then figure, like they'd work it in and all of a sudden it, would, it supposedly looked like hair which it didn't. Uh, but um, but I don't know. I was just thinking about like are are there people that would be interested in something like that? And I don't know. Uh, Tiki says okay. Um, well, I'll preface by your first comment. There's the YouTube video on natural dyes and then henna was the first option. Okay. Yes. Um. Oh wait a minute. I missed this, Mike. I want to hear this. Got a call from your boy at Fort Sill. About half the battery tested positive for COVID. Then he called today, and he also has an ear infection. Oh, man. Well, I'm uh, praying for him, brother. And the, the thing about, I mean, the thing about COVID is, like, we think we're, around the, we're just around the corner from it. And then every now and then you hear about little pockets like this of it happening. Um, did he get vaccinated for that just wondering um now the ear infection well, i hope that clears up pretty quickly but uh just just hoping he's doing okay um and then uh, andre says he's enjoying his salt and pepper digging it yeah it looks great I'm, i see the picture on there I, it looks great it's balanced well too and i think it looks really nice um and yeah mike says you've earned the grace for sure man absolutely and let's see, only for fun temporarily would I color. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, just for, just to, you know, why not? Um, so you never know. I mean, there may be a market for, for a temporary color. I just, you know, just 
I, I'm curious about it. I'm wondering how, you know, how easy it would be to make something like that all natural, of course. Um, let's see. Bald and Beautiful says, saw on YouTube, grind onions and leave in beard for a few minutes before a shower. For about four months, it turns black. Wow. That's interesting. Why would it turn black? I'm just curious about that. I wonder how that would be. Um, let's see. Beard Growing Pro made a video about a natural powder that dyes your beard, but you can't remember what it's called. Okay. Beard Growing Pro. Um, I'll jot it down just on the notes. Video on natural coloring. But don't get me wrong, guys. Seriously, I'm like... I'm, I love the way this looks. I love the, I would say salt and pepper, but I don't really have pepper. It's more salt and ginger, I guess you could say. <laughs> Logan says he's got one single gray hair and your wife is always like, why don't you pluck it? But I say it gives you character. Yeah, and if you pluck the one gray, two more will show up. And you pluck the two gray, four more will show up. Um, okay, so they received their first shot of the vaccine not long after they got there. Okay, good. Good to hear. So they won't be too far behind for the second shot. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Like, I only wish I grew my beard out longer when it wasn't gray, just to see, you know, what it looked like back when I could have. Uh, huh, Nate comes up with onion oil for white beard. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, talk about some tipped off customers if they got that. <laughs> Um, cause at one point I did have a product called, uh, well, it was a line I made called white lightning and it was, um, fractionated coconut oil and castor oil. That was all that was in the carrier oils and it was super clear. It was like really, really clear. But as it turns out, the, the, you know, what I have now is pretty damn near as clear as that was. And that's just because I removed the grapeseed oil and added the sunflower in the caster. So, I don't know. I mean, I think the grapeseed is really what um, colors a lot of these beard beard oils. And I think I mentioned before, too, like, people who are asking about they don't want to get their... They don't want to risk coloring their beard if they use beard oil. I think I've established beyond a reasonable doubt that it's not so much the carrier oils that will do it. It is the fragrance oils or even essential oils that you use, like coffee, for example, or dragon blood would be one I would probably steer away from if I wanted. To, if I had a white beard and I didn't want anything to possibly make it turn color, because those, if you just look at them, they do have a, a pretty dark coloring to them. So I, um, one of the things I do plan on doing at some point is updating the site just to say, like, to show a picture of the darkness or the lightness of the fragrance oils inside it and I think people would be able to see that and judge for themselves if that's something they want to get um, because I do want to keep being transparent uh don't be a bearded Karen and hit the like button like it owes you money there you go Votto thank you hit the like button like it owes you money guys and I would really appreciate that so thank you I see Votto you back to changing screen pick identity <laughs> yeah let's see that picture that's a cool picture there. I like it. <laughs> Got to keep the tradition at live. Yes. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. One of the things we're going to do today is we were going to do the $50 giveaway for the mobile app orders that were made throughout the month of June. And I think I mentioned there were 14 orders that came in on the mobile app. So... Let me bring those up and we can take a look together. Um, and another thing I do want to mention, speaking of the mobile app, I have figured out what the issue is with the mobile app and Android devices. So if you have an iPhone at the moment, you can go to the App Store and download the mobile app. If you have an Android and you haven't downloaded the mobile app, at this very moment, you cannot find it in the, in the Google Play Store. And But I know why. Uh, so I have instructions from the uh, app developer on how to correct that. So that's what I will be doing this weekend is going through the steps I need to take to correct that. So um, once I have, I'm not sure of the timeline for it to show up there, but um, I do know what the problem is. So I will definitely be taking care of that this weekend 
at least starting starting what I need to do. Um, so I wanted to kind of keep you guys updated on that because it's just frustrating to you know to not have it available. So, all right, let me move this window up here for a second, and then. Uh, Logan says he always forgets to use the app. Yeah, I mean, if if it's something that you know is easy to order, definitely use the app because every single order that's placed, you are eligible to. Uh, it's the first Friday of each of the month. We'll do the drawing for the previous month. So here is, or here are, I guess I should say, the orders that came in on the mobile app last month. There are. 14 of them and I just put the orders numbers in so the good thing about this is I already have the email address of the person that placed the order um, So let's see 4468 4469 4472 4441 4496 4448 14 orders that were placed on the mobile app. So at the count of three, I'm going to spin that and we're going to pick a $50 gift card winner. Oh, I didn't count. One, two, three. Sorry. All right. So it's $44.69. So let me just make a note of that. Um, and let me see if I can see who that winner was, if there's someone that's even on the show tonight. Let's see. Four, four, six, nine. Okay, the person who placed this order is, I don't think, on the show, um, but they live in Abilene, Texas. So I will be sending him, in fact, it was his first order. So I'll be sending him a $25, no, I'm sorry, a $50 gift card uh, for winning. And I think that'll make his day or night or weekend. So uh, I'll be sending that off to him uh, probably after this show. So congratulations to um, the person who placed order 4469 in Abilene, Texas. You are the $50 gift card winner. So the um, the alternate way, I don't want you to think you absolutely have to place an order to enter because I legally have to show another way for you to enter too. So if you don't want to place an order, the alternate way to enter this is to send a letter to our P.O. box in Keller, Texas. The address is on our website and just say, I am entering this, you know, the giveaway for the month of, you know, whatever month it is. So like this time will be July. And then I check that mailbox uh, every now and then, but I do make a point of checking it. Um, usually by the Thursday of the last, of the first Friday of the month. So that way, if it's not there by then, I'll make sure, um, you know, I can't I can't include it but if it is there I'll include it in I'll just put a manual entry in there so Erock says he hates to cut it short but he has to work tomorrow congratulations again on hiring yourself to ferocious <laughs> thank you have a good evening brother thank you so much for jumping in on here uh, we're also getting ready real quick to do the $25 giveaway for guessing the correct name on Instagram of the city that I posted a couple of a couple of uh, well a couple of days ago so See, Bearded Mike says, the order you had shipped to Rhode Island received the orange cream pop and loves it. Yes, I'm so psyched about that. Uh, I He actually sent me a message saying he received it. Or, well, no, you know what it was? I made a comment on one of his videos, and he said, oh, by the way, I got the, I got the uh, orange cream pop. And, uh, yeah, I'm psyched about that. Uh, and he was the person who did the review, the Bearded Accountant, who um, made some great points, and I think I mentioned it last week, about... Um, you know, making sure that the, your labels reflect what's actually in there because <clears throat> I had so many labels for so many cents that there were a couple that I, as during as I was updating the labels, I had forgot to add the word castor for the castor oil that was in there. So, yeah, heard that loud and clear and definitely working on changing that. So, uh, but anyway, have a good night, E Rock. Mike, I'm glad you mentioned that. So, um, so yeah. Let's do that. Let's do our, uh, this is our, um, now I know you guys are just kind of observing for now, but what I'm going to do is clear off the board. Let me show you my screen again. I'm clearing off the board from the last giveaway. And what this one is for 
is let's see one two three four look at each of these people has a 25 percent chance of winning um, and here's what let me see uh, if I go to in I can actually go to Instagram on my computer and there's a picture that I posted let's see my site All right, so let me remove this for a second. And then let me share one other thing with you. Uh, Ferocious Beard Crew. So this is the, <laughs> this. these are some of the images and it was this one. I had posted in there, um, what city is this? Post below, guess correctly, and you'll be entered into a $25 gift card giveaway to be drawn Friday night during the 8 p.m. Central Time, free for all. And so this is the image that people saw, and there were four people that actually guessed correctly. Austin, Austin, Texas. And so I have their names, and I'm going to pick the winner. So let me get this going here. Okay, so, like I said, there are four. Bruce City Bearded, Camo Cam 1003, Robinette 9415, and Maitland Ryan. So, here we go. This is for $25. And the winner is Camo Cam. So, Camo Cam won $25 gift card. So, I'll be letting Camo Cam know on Instagram later tonight that he's won that. And I'll, I'll update the uh, site to say that. So congratulations, Camo Cam, Camo Cam 1003. Uh, so good job in selecting Austin, Texas. And I'll probably do a couple of more of those. Those are kind of fun to do. But I've noticed with Instagram giveaways, like they're only good for maybe two days. After about two days, interest just drops. And there's too many things going on. So people just move on. But for a couple of days, you know, um, people kind of get some interest in it and generates a little bit of buzz so I think those are kind of fun to do uh, I'll have to make it a little harder next time I'm not sure uh, what cities people know but yeah I'll definitely be doing that um, yes congratulations Camo Cam Sway Sana says 25 to first is a great win nice stuff awesome and don't forget with gift cards guys you can still use your uh, codes too so like if you happen to win a gift card here and you want to take advantage of that 25% off code uh, bang save some money on your uh, beard products uh, you can use your gift card and you can use your um, any codes that I have so or any codes that you have like ferocious always saves you 15% um, I have a code on the website for people that are new to the site where they can save 10% but as people sign up and start following that's where like there they start getting extra bonuses or extra discount savings because I want to take care of the people that follow me you guys are following me so that's why so um, all right so what else is happening let me think of a couple other things that are going on here oh we've got some new fragrances in uh, via UPS this this uh, week I have been waiting for these um, we have leather like pure leather that came in um, looking forward to trying that. I got a dark chocolate that came in, so I'll be adding both of those scents to the lineup for the uh, Create Your Own. So if you guys are interested in adding leather to that, not I'm not talking cedar leather. I have that already, but I'm talking about a pure leather. Um, that's that's nice. Yes, Andrew, I got the leather. It came in, and the beauty of it is the first package was lost in UPS, so. If they should happen to deliver that too, then I'll get some extra leather at for free. They're they're going to say keep it. So um, so oh now that you mix in it, ooh that sounds like a good mix. Imagine should I try that leather and dark chocolate just to see? That might be a good idea, Andre. I think you're onto something. That does sound like a nice mix. Yes, Texas Knight needs that leather. Maybe we can try that out. Uh, we can we can always uh see what we can do to uh, you know, tinker with it and make it even better than it already is 
Um, mm, dark chocolate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> dark chocolate sounds good, and it does smell good. So now that means I've got dark chocolate. I've got a chocolate mint, uh, which I've had for a while. That's a nice one, too. Um, and, boy, there was another one that came in. Let me just see if it's over there. Hold on. Um, give me one second. One second. I want to see. No, that wasn't where I thought it was. Um, so tobacco flour, I'm still on the hunt for some more tobacco flour. I have some, but I am, I am running out of tobacco flour. I need to get some more of that, and it's on my list of, of scents to order. What else is, oh, I got some more um, for the orange cream pop. I got some more fragrances for that, so I could, I could make probably 200 orange cream pops or more. So give away while we wait <laughs> it's fine <laughs> right um you wait a minute you double dog dare me to add leather to that oh andrew i could definitely do that you could only dare me and i would do it you don't have to double 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 dog dare me i think that would be i'll try it and i'll i'll let you know what i think and if 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 it smells better than the original then we'll make it happen that'll be the new That'll be the new and updated one. We could do that. So, hey, Josh Ricks just jumped in. What's going on, Joshua? What's up, Brother Nate? Better late than never. Awesome to see you here, man. Glad you're here. No big deal. Um, if you're late, no problem at all. Uh, let's see. We did a couple of things today. We did a uh, we did a giveaway for the mobile app winner for July. And we also did a $25 giveaway for guessing the correct name of the city on Instagram and that was Camel Cam 1003 he won that um so yeah we're just doing all sorts of things um oh you've been listening while doing some writing cool man I'm glad that I mean congrats on the new job by the way I'm glad that's working out for you really glad I mean I'm psyched for you um yeah meant for the leather and dark chocolate but both work um I think leather and dark chocolate might be just a great great mix right there uh and if you have any addiction it's chocolate <laughs> well i think oh man i can't wait to add these to the ingredient list and then people are going to have fun with it on the um create your own and that's one thing i'm going to be really starting to like differentiate ferocious from other companies uh, you'll probably start to see that happen where is i'm going to be really m hyping up the fact that people can create their own scents at Ferocious, like with ease. Um, you know, there's a lot of companies that say, hey, you know, create your own scent here and then reach out to the owner and discuss it and talk about it and we'll see if we can do it and this and that. Well, you guys already know, we do this every time we do Collaboration Corner, that we can make sense like in a few days. Um, you know, I take my time and make sure that it works, but that's one thing I think will definitely differentiate ourselves from other companies. And I want people to know that because some people don't know that they, they go to the site and they don't really, they don't know what we can do. You know, they, they just don't know yet. And so my job is to help people understand that. Like, Hey, there might be some scent you're really looking for that, you know, you can't find anywhere. Well, guess what? You can make it right here and I'll send it to you. So I might come up with even some different, uh, options for labels if they want a unique looking label well quasi unique I mean I can only do so much but you know maybe give them which which label would you like and give them options which um, I don't know goes on and on but yeah um, so Joshua says always missing out on the giveaway son of a mother well set your watch like 45 minutes earlier than now so when it's like 7 15 it's like really you'll think it's eight and then you'll log in for eight and then 
usually I'll start doing giveaways maybe about like 20 past, 25 past. Today we kind of get a little bit later. We actually haven't done any regular ferocious giveaways yet, so don't worry about that. The only one you could have possibly won was if you did a mobile app order um, so far. So you're fine. We haven't done any giveaways where everyone on this broadcast is, is jumping in to say, yeah, I want to enter. So we're, we'll be doing that soon. So uh, let's see. No more than 80% cocoa, though. Anything darker is coffee. <laughs> Coffee and chocolate would be great. Dark chocolate and coffee. That would be really nice. Yes, Logan, the leather came in. It came in and I'm psyched. So I'll be adding that to the list um, of of um, fragrance oils that we'll put on the website for the Create Your Own. So, so psyched about that. Yeah, right, Andrew says, we need a Texas series. Dr. Pepper, which I do have a Dr. Pepper scent. Whataburger, mm, not sure what we do about Whataburger. Bucky's, what would you say for Bucky's? Because they sell so all sorts of things. They sell, um, you know, beef jerky. They sell fudge. They sell sodas. Uh, they sell chips. They sell, like, all sorts of things. T-shirts. What would you say Bucky's would be a good scent of? Um, Andrew says In-N-Out is better. Oh, wait a minute. In-N-Out is better than Whataburger? Uh, you know what? I think they are, it's, it's a different market for both of those. Um, I think In-N-Out is good. I think it's simple, which, and I don't I don't really care for the animal style that much. I do like it for like a, about five minutes, but, but by the time I'm done eating those animal style fries, I'm like, oh man, this is, I just want regular fries. The original, like the first couple of tastes though was good. Um, but Whataburger, I like Whataburger also, but I like it for different reasons. Like, for example, their <laughs> their vanilla milkshakes, for example, it's like a freaking gallon of paint. When you get a large vanilla milkshake, it's like sipping on a, like a, you know, a gallon of paint with a straw, basically. Their burgers, they're, um, if it's, if it's not too, like, it can be greasy. I'll give them that. It can be a little greasy. But you just get a regular burger, um, they can be pretty good. So I, I think... I like them both, but for different reasons. So, let's see. Do I grill and barbecue? Yes, I do. Um, I have a smoker. It's an electric smoker because I realized a long time ago I can't keep the temperature at, like, a steady temp. So, I have an electric smoker with a little port that I can put wood chips in. Um, so, I do that. But then I also have a, a grill where, you know, when it comes to, you know, burgers, um, steaks, um, you know, sausages stuff like that i do so but yeah absolutely i love it it's, it's my favorite meal for at home you know is to go out there on the grill and just put something on there i don't care what it is i'll put it on there Let's see kato when i was driving through california i put him in mre next to an in and out and put which trash i would rather eat <laughs> oh no come on in and out's not that bad their fries, actually, their French fries, um, straight off out of the fryer layer, I think their fries are really good. So, Mike says, Michael's going to be working on the 4th. Aw, oh, man. Well, that stinks. So, are you going to be off um, tomorrow? Are you going to be off on the 5th? Or are you, you just, you're going to get maybe some holiday pay, maybe? Um, oh, let's see. Leather? Okay. Let me envision, envision this. Leather. Yes. Dark chocolate, yes. Sandalwood, yes. Sweet tobacco and a hint of amber, yes. That would work well. That would work well. And I have, well, I've got the Cuban tobacco, which is essentially a sweet tobacco um, on its own. Yeah, that would work out really well, Andre. Um, and, you know, again, I can make oils, balms, and butters in that scent. So if you did want the uh, Create Your Own, use that code BANG. It saves you 25%. Or submit that on the Collaboration Corner on Tuesday nights. And then if it gets selected, I'll make that. And then I'll let you guys know what I think about it. So, but, yeah, I could, I could definitely see that being a really nice scent. Especially that hint of amber just at the end. Just to kind of, you know, add a little something something to it that'll be good uh let's see you've had 
in and out in both Texas and Cali. Do you find a difference in the two? The first time I actually ever had in and out was in Vegas once. I went to Vegas one time, and um, I thought it was good, you know. But I, I, I tried the animal style, though, and I just think that animal style, it's just too tangy for me for the course of the whole french fries. Yeah, Texas has in and out It does. Like, around the DFW area, they just maybe, like, eight years ago or so, they started growing... Um, to the point almost where they just start popping up without any fanfare. Like I remember when the first couple of In-N-Outs showed up here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, it was like a big deal. It was in the news and parking like lines out the door. Next thing you know, a couple of years later, they're just opening In-N-Outs. Like there's one in uh, Grapevine that opened up and it was like all of a sudden one day it was there and not a, not a big deal, you know, but, but yeah, it's decent. I liked um, I liked a restaurant up in the Northeast called Friendlies. They had some really great like patty melts and burgers and ice creams, sundaes and stuff like that. It was called Friendlies. I don't even know if they still exist, but um, we'll probably find out later this month because we're going up to New England. But um, Friendlies was a really good place. But it was kind of like, you know, it wasn't nearly as popular as Whataburger. In our, Whataburgers are everywhere around here. Um, yeah, mostly in the big cities or major cities and some bigger sized towns. Yep. Yeah, in and out, double double. Okay, like a double cheeseburger. And um, I, see, I've only I've only gotten the single burgers there, but uh, Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. Now there you go. I will, <laughs> I will in fact be buying some of those for the road trip up to the Northeast. Beaver Nuggets, they're just great. Um, Texas sounds fire for barbecue. Oh, like tri tip and such. So there's so many great barbecue joints, um, smoked meats, smoked ribs, um, smoked everything, brisket, chicken. I put chicken in the smoker. To me, that's like the best tasting chicken in the world is a smoked chicken, seasoned. Good stuff. Um, yeah, whatever. whenever you're here, you hook us up. Uh, notice I included me, us up. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm so excited because the collab that I'm creating is uh, Dream Bomb, and you have Pete's blessing. Yes, I think we should send Pete a bottle of that too, just to see what he says. What do you think, Robert? You think we should do that? Because I'm all about. I, I don't. I would love to do that. In fact, it would give me a reason to actually meet him. Like, gosh, he's just so close, and yet I never. I've never met him. He told me one time in a message, he said he saw the ferocious beast driving around uh, on, I think it was 377, which is the major road that goes between Keller and uh, Watauga, where he's out of. But uh, And in fact, I think uh, he mentioned a couple of months ago, he started putting stickers on the back of his vehicle too, similar to what Ferocious is doing, except mine just takes up the whole window. But yeah, I would love to stop by and meet up with him somewhere and give him a bottle of Dream Bomb. Uh, so I think we should do that. Let me let me make a note about that. I think he would be I think he would be happy with that. Can't say it would be like like anything he makes, but oh wow, hold on guys, hold on. We just got a uh, just got an order. So that means we stop everything and we do a bonus giveaway. So this is a bonus giveaway. So listen up, guys. All right, so there are 17 people here. Um, so thank you, by the way, for that order. Um, I usually don't say the name of the person who placed the order. I don't want to put them on the spot, but we did receive an order. So we are going to do a bonus giveaway, and there's currently 17 people here. So what I'm going to do is clear the board and put one through nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so now we'll share the share the uh, board here, so you guys can make sure you know what the series of numbers are. Okay, we've got one through nine up here, and what I want you guys to do when you get a chance, uh, when you see the word go, is type one number, please, just one number, 
between 1 and 9. And once the timer counts down, I'll pick a number and you will win a $10 gift card to Ferocious. So here we go, guys. Get ready. Get set. And go. One number, please, between 1 and 9. All right. And while you guys are typing, let me catch up on the comments here. Um, Just made that note to uh, get in touch with Pete about Dream Bomb and get him a, a version of that. And then, um, let's see. Nate is fancy. He has top-notch grilling material. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Why here, Josh? You're right. I do have a Weber, but here's why I have a Weber. So, prior to getting this Weber, like six years ago, every two years or so I would go to Walmart and I would buy like a $200 you know decent sized maybe a three or four burner grill and without fail every two years the burners would just burn themselves out uh, or they like literally burn holes in the burners were like they, it, it was no longer heating correctly and on top of that I couldn't clean it out well because it didn't open up right like it opened up awkwardly and like there'd be things that would drip into spots that I couldn't get to so I was talked into um, I guess I talked myself into it but I, I went to Home Depot a couple of years ago six years ago or so and I saw a Weber Genesis grill there and it was it was pricey I will give you that it was about six hundred dollars but it was so convenient I didn't have to, like, I could open every single nook and cranny of that thing to find things. Uh, like, if I if something were dirty, I could get there and easily clean it. I could find replacement parts easily. And so I was like, you know what? I'm spending this $200 every two years anyway. Let me just buy this $600 Weber and hopefully never have to buy another grill. At least, if it, if it lasted six years I would have gotten the same amount of money's worth than three two hundred dollar grills so I bought it and it's been great um, you know so that's the reason why I I have I'm of the opinion if you you know you buy cheap you buy twice and that's generally true uh, now you know I don't like to waste money though on the, on the other hand but I mean as long as it was gonna do what it was supposed to do and you know that's it's so far it's been great. I have had to replace the the um, like the not the I guess it's the pads that go over the burners. I they're like V shaped. I've replaced them one time. I found some parts on Amazon. But it's true, you know. You kind of that's that's the reason I like to um, you know if I'm gonna buy something, I want to make sure that it's gonna last. All right. While I'm yammering on, let me put this down. Okay, everybody stop. Let me type in the word stop. Okay. Uh, Joshua says, I need at least five more of my beard washes. Just saying, awesome wash. Thanks, Joshua. I appreciate that. Really, really like that. Okay, here we go. I'm going to bring up the board here. And we are looking for... There's all the numbers here. Okay, got it. Um... Okay, I see the numbers. So, on the count of three, I'll spin one, two, three. Okay, number one, you are the winner. So, number one, the first person I see is Bald and Beautiful. You are the winner of this $10 gift card. So congratulations to you. And let's see. Big Man Bearded says the order was him. So thank you, sir, for that. Really appreciate that. And uh, you're the reason we did this uh, bonus giveaway. So thank you. Um, let me just put this up again. 
so I'm just writing it down so this way I'll remember in my old age I gotta write these things down beautiful all right so congratulations and thanks to everybody for participating and thank you for your order I uh, really appreciate that all right so let's clear the screen and let's see, I am in Keller, Texas, right? Need to look for hotel or Airbnb on the trip back. Mike, I am, my, the post office I send things out of is in Keller. Uh, I'm actually in far north Fort Worth, um, which is not far from Keller. But I'll definitely be in touch with you. Uh, we'll work out some plans, man. Absolutely. And I was thinking about, like, you know, talking about barbecue. I was even thinking about even having something in the backyard here, if since it's going to be the middle of the summer. Uh, but uh, we'll figure something out. If not, I know a great couple of places we could hit um, if you're hungry. So, uh, which I'm sure you probably will be. I know I will be. So, but yeah, for sure. Right? If you search Keller, Texas, that's like right in my my backyard practically. So, so that'll be cool. Um, hey, Martin's here. Martin Westerlund. How's it going, brother? Thank you so much for stopping in, man. Um, we are just, uh, what are we doing? We're doing all sorts of things tonight. So, but uh, 4th of July weekend and all, got a big sale going on. Code BANG saves everybody 25% at Ferocious, um, including the Collaboration Corner Sense and including the Create Your Own. So that'll get you 25% uh, off. So, I mean, that's almost like buying a regular beard oil, um, at, but it's completely your own. You know what I mean? So... So definitely lots of things about um, the Create Your Own that are really cool. So Andrew says, most of the guys that he served was were from either Texas or California, so there would be fights to the death over which was better. After we did training events in Fort Irwin, guys went more towards the Whataburger. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's it's like the age-old question here, you know, Whataburger or In-N-Out. It's, it's definitely the question of... It's been the question... When the when the uh, in and outs came up around here, that was definitely the question that was posed, like in the the media and stuff like that. Um, so Logan says he's never been to uh, In and Out Burger. Oh, here we go. Somebody knows somebody. Uh, somebody knows Friendlies. Yes, in Delaware, uh, Friendlies is solid up here in Delaware. Man, I I really like Friendlies a lot. And their ice cream is good. Their whipped cream is good. They had, as I remember, they had like these Reese's pieces. Um, Sunday that was just like huge but um they're they're they've got these patty melts really good stuff friendlies has the uh, the best ice cream yeah exactly they really did have some great ice cream so well it's good to see that they're still around they're still in business there's so many things like I want to go check out but I don't even know if they're still there so I'm, I can only assume they are but I, I won't know for sure till I get back uh, no more in Hawaii this is why I like to move back to the mainland mmm okay so so when are you like how long do you have before you move back to the mainland uh andrew is okay to have different ideas the key is to respect each other's yes yes and i'm getting hungry too man <laughs> i actually did cook uh so it was like 6 20 or so and we were we were like well are we gonna eat anything because when i went to the the uh water park earlier with my daughters you know, we hit McDonald's on the way back and just grabbed like a bag of cheeseburgers and just brought them back. So we had been kind of munching on those for the afternoon. So, but I had, um, um, a, there was a steak that I bought a couple of days ago and I, I had already, uh, you know, tenderized it and seasoned it and I needed to put it on. So I did cook it up and I did have like a, a, a pretty small piece of it earlier today, but, um, like right, like a 20 minutes before the show, <laughs> but, um, I just didn't want to waste it, you know what I mean? I mean, I'd hate to waste a steak, gosh. But, you know, so. Yeah, definitely about it. It's all good fun seeing everyone rep their states. I do think it's interesting, though, Andrew, that a lot of people that in in your group were from either Texas or California. Like, there's so many. I think it's just the higher population of states. Uh, and I would even say, you know what, Texas and, you know, especially Texas and I know parts of California, it's so, like, uh, there's so much, there's so much visible pride in the military. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying that as a knock on any other state because Rhode Island had it too, but it, not on the same level. 
and so I wonder if it's just because of the the you know growing up in Texas and you, like you drive down the street and you're seeing people are putting flags out on the roadways uh, for the weekend because it's either Memorial Day weekend or it's um, Veterans Day or it's the Fourth of July weekend and people are just like lining the streets like I've never seen before with these flags and um, of course fighter jets flying around because there's a base right here. It just makes me wonder if it's like just the, the high population of people that see this on a daily basis that they don't see in other states just because of the fact that there's not a big military base there. <clears throat> that That's why we see more people from Texas and from, from states like California, Edwards Air Force Base and things like that. So. Um, let's check out some new comments here. Swaysana, you're always welcome to hang out, man. Um, so, I obviously live in Fort Worth, so I mean, always up for, you know, hanging out in the area. We are taking a road trip up to New England. Uh, we're probably going to be going up through Tennessee. Like, the route I didn't want to take initially, but because we've got hotels set along the way that my wife's booked... Uh, the only thing we're just obviously we're gonna um, try to figure out. I think we'll be okay though. The the I forty bridge is closed, so we're gonna take a little bit of a detour. But I think we're gonna be there around the middle of the day, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute, Swayzana has an idea. Um, the answer is Five Guys. I do like Five Guys. There you go. Yes, and and Andre says he loves Five Guys too. Um, so Five Guys is good, man, and their fries are good too. So, do either of these restaurants serve Black Angus? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, Robert. Uh, you t so, like, you're talking about the in and outs and the stuff, or you're talking about, like, friendlies and stuff like that? I don't know. Friendlies might, but I know, I, I, I don't think that Whataburger, well, maybe if they have a special burger, they might. Uh, I don't know. Andrew, you might be able to know. Five Guys is legit, yes. Uh, they always give you a buttload of fries, too. Yeah, they do. Uh, oh, the one in Virginia closed. Uh, Friendly's in Virginia. All right. Another place that had Friendly's was Orlando, Florida. I remember when we go, you know, to Orlando, there was always a Friendly's around. Uh, but I think it's because of all the people from New England that would, you know, fly down to Florida and, uh, and go to, like, Disney or something. So they had to, you know, they had a Friendly's there because people were familiar with it from the Northeast. Um... Oh, look at that. Uh, grew up on Friendly's Black Ra Raspberry is your favorite ice cream from there. Boy, what I would not do to be able to get Friendly's ice cream, like, any time. So, Brian says, good night. Good night, Brian. Thank you so much for stopping in, man. Uh, yeah, can't waste the beef for the cost of it nowadays. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I don't even like, <laughs> I don't even like to waste inexpensive beef, you know? So, Joshua says, what do I have in beard? I have Sublime Beard Oil, uh, which was... Uh, put in just after washing my, my beard uh, with my cherry tobacco peppermint beard wash. So that's what I did. Uh, you know, McDill Air Force Base in Tampa, but not a huge military presence. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's true. Um, absolutely. Uh, oh, Five Guys are great. Rush in and out and the other one you mentioned. in and out and uh, a place called Whataburger. And, though, yeah, so I don't, I don't know if they have that or not. I would tend to doubt it as a general rule because they are, you know, they are fast food restaurants. But something tells me that Whataburger might periodically have special burgers that are Black Angus, I think, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they've done that. Um, see, there's a great restaurant up here that has bison burgers, fantastic meat. That's interesting. You know, there was a place called Twisted Root Burger in Roanoke, Texas, and there's another one in Dallas, in Deep Ellum, which is in uh, really kind of a cool spot in Dallas, called Twisted Root Burger, and the one in Roanoke closed, but they sold bison burgers too, if you wanted. Um, I I have not actually tried it though because I've always liked their regular burgers so much that I've never 
wanted to try their bison burgers. Not that I don't want to, but I just, I guess I'm just afraid at like, boy, at the price of this burger, do I really want to get something and not like it? But I mean, I would probably like it. Um, I don't know, but I would, I, I would probably like it. I just have never tried it. All right, let's see. Martin says, I, I live less than 30 minutes away from Luke Air Force Base in Arizona. Huge military presence in that area. Good. Yeah, that's awesome. Because I, I always like those military towns. I know, you know, sometimes sometimes they can be a little bit, um, I guess we'll call it honky-tonk, you know what I mean? Uh, and I don't like to see, like, the uh, predatory lending companies out there taking advantage of people. But I would love... Just the like the bars, the you know the the atmosphere, hanging out with with um, military people, uh, because it's just enjoyable to me. Like when I went to Hawaii like years ago, uh, and we stayed at the Halikoa, even though I was out of the military by then, the bar there was full of people that were there active duty, and it was just like, all right, I can I can relate to these people, you know. So I really liked it. Um, so. Yeah, good food being wasted when you're around isn't a problem. Exactly, right? Joshua asked, do I wash my beard daily? Um, I, You know, I will say lately, no. I've been washing it maybe every two days or so. I don't wash it daily. Not because I can't, just because, I don't know, uh, just been getting up and jumping on the computer and then I'll <laughs> wash it the next day. But uh, you can, though. This beard wash is... Do I have any here or no, it's over there and there's some over there. It's um it's definitely a wa it's it's a what is the word I'm looking for? It's not harsh. Um it's liquid castile soap with glycerin and fragrance um, or essential oils. And that's all it is, and it's very, very mild on your beard, but it suds up super quickly, and the suds is what you want to start cleaning all that gunk out of your beard from the day before. And then it rinses off just as quickly. And because there's, I put a little glycerin in it, it makes it so it's not going to like, you know how some beard washes, when you put it into your beard and you have to say you have some balm in your beard from the day before or even butter. When you go to wash it, sometimes it like pulls. It pulls at the balm and stuff that may be in your beard. I didn't want mine to be like that. I wanted it to go in nice and gentle. And then and it's almost like, feels a little slick because of the fact that that's what the glycerin does and so once you get it in there and you start bubbling up you know sudsing up uh, with your beard wash all that stuff's going to come right out pretty easily and then you can just r rinse it super fast and then your beard's going to feel soft but it's not going to feel like squeaky squeaky clean it's going to feel soft and gentle and then that's when you towel dry it and then you add the beard oil that's what I do so um, Robert says, I couldn't imagine any burger restaurant in Texas not so offering Black Angus. Boy, you'd be surprised, though. Uh, you'd think that, but there's so many restaurants here. Like, I mean, there's just a ton. You, Especially in the big cities. Like, it's just unbelievable how many options people have. Uh, let's see, bison burgers are really good. I'm going to have to try one. Uh, those are good burgers. Those bison are very dark and tasty. The only thing... The only thing that I don't, certain kind of meats, here's what I don't like. I don't like gamey tasting meat, if you know what I mean. Like, that's the word, it's gamey. I like beef when it's almost like it's, uh, I won't say no taste, because it tastes like beef, but there's certain beef that I've tried in the past that tastes like just strong and meaty, really like the meat itself has a strong gamey taste to it and I'm not crazy about that some people like that but I don't like gamey taste so does bison taste gamey more or is it like that nice juicy you know um, beef that just is a clean tasting beef I guess you could say uh, okay bald and beautiful says ostrich burger are similar to bison lean and dark okay uh, Martin says, I like living that close to Air Force Base. All my neighbors are military members and work on base. I feel safe with them around. I, I totally agree with you, man. I totally understand what you're saying. And yeah, absolutely. Um, well, maybe that's 
hit. I don't feel freaking bars, and there's probably a bigger presence. And don't get me wrong, Robert, I don't really go to bars anymore, but all I know is, like, if I were in a military... Like, let's say they had a beard competition, and I was going to be a vendor. Like, um, Beard Mob was going to do something, or Beard On. There's a couple of groups that I'm a part of, and they do events that I might go to and set up as a vendor. If it happened to be in a military town, I know I'd get along with the people there um, in the... You know, if, if everyone's like, hey, we're going to the bar down after after the show or whatever, I would definitely be up for that. Uh, okay, bison isn't gamey. Okay. Uh, so I don't like venison. No, not not if it's... Um, no, not if it's gamey, and I think it would be. So... I mean, I've had some beef jerky, I think, that's been venison, but it didn't taste jerky, but didn't taste gamey but maybe that's because of the seasonings in it that kind of hit it okay so you won't taste gamey with bison all right good well then I'm, I'm gonna have to try it venison anything is good but is ven but but uh is is venison i mean ve venison venison gamey tasting though let's see hillsborough county is huge i know a lot of military personnel living in south tampa and brandon and I tell you what, you know, now that I, now that ferocious is my full-time job, it really changes things. We could literally move anywhere. And I know at some point, you know, in the past, Barb and I were talking about Florida, and we came to an agreement that, or at least I think we did. I don't know, maybe we didn't, but I think I told her that I would prefer to live on the Gulf Coast of Florida rather than the Atlantic Coast. Not because I don't like the Atlantic. I mean, you've got like you know, NASA over there and stuff, but I just have, I've really started, I, like, I really like the Gulf of Mexico. I, I think it's, you know, especially as you get further and further out of Texas, it just looks prettier and prettier. So, let's see, okay, you don't find, it's a little gamey, but not too strong to me. Okay, yeah, deer burgers are gamey. Okay. Um, best deer meat is from the Axis deer. No more gamey because their way, their stomach process their food they eat compared to other deer. Best deer meat is from the Axis deer. Okay, the Axis deer. I'll have to remember that. I'm just writing these notes to myself here. Not too gamey. Supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> Not too gamey. Uh, Axis is the best, you have to agree. Okay. Um... You would really enjoy the Naples area, just north of Sanibel and Captiva Island. Let me see. Let me look at maps here. Naples. Oh, okay, yeah, there's Naples. All right, yeah, so that's like south. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, see, that would be great. I mean, they're gorgeous. I mean, at least based on what I see so far. Um, now, here's the only thing that I will say, though, about running a business in Texas is that whether you're shipping to California or you're shipping to Boston, uh, you're looking at generally a two-day turnaround. Uh, two days once it ships, uh, if you ship a priority, or three days if it's first class. But I just, you know, I wonder, like, it's the same thing if I were running a business up in the, in Rhode Island, say, if I were still there. Um, like, it would take longer to get to California than it would to get to, say, Texas, because you're coming from one coast to the other. So, Fort Myers is a nice area, too. Yes. Um, definitely... Yeah, those are definitely things. I know it's funny because um, we were thinking like Tampa area before. I was thinking Tampa would seem pretty, pretty cool. And then just just southeast of that is Fort Myers. And then just where's the other place? Fort Myers, and then yeah, Brandon. I'm just writing these locations down because I always like to look at like Realtor.com and get ideas for the future. Naples, and then uh, Sanibel, Captiva Island. 
I tell you, one thing that would be nice is if I ever do get back into flying, which I don't know if I will. I think maybe once the kids are grown up, maybe I might have some time. Like, well, no, not time, money for that, because I don't have the money for that right now with kids. <laughs> but, um, yeah, turn the Gulf Coast, and it's like another world very laid back. Yes. One day to get out of Texas. Hmm. <laughs> But, but I mean, I like Texas a lot. I mean, I, I like Texas for, well, I guess the opportunities it gives me, you know, with, with Ferocious. I just think it's been a great, it's been a great state for running a business. I've met some really good people here. Um, I love San Antonio. I love to go down there. Uh, there's a great restaurant we go to in Round Rock sometimes for breakfast if we ever drive down that way towards Austin. So at some point, at some point we may get out of Texas, but I, I, I really enjoy it though, so uh, so probably not for a while. <laughs> but I could, I could just simply move the company from one state to another, uh, you know. Uh, let's see, here in Maui, but if too far, Texas should have some. Oh, thank you, my, my notification didn't go off yet. It's so weird. Why didn't it? Uh... Oh, here it is. Just came in now. Woo! Whoa, look at that. Someone just cr just ordered a create your own. Yes. Oh, cool. All right. I just got it. Do you want to share the scent? It's a, it's a create your own. Swaysana. I just got your note too, man. Thank you. All right, that is so cool. Oh, hold on one second. One second, guys. Just got a, um, let's see. So guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here. First and foremost, we're gonna do a giveaway. Um, and I did, yes, I just I did just check your, your DM, so thank you. I'm gonna do this giveaway. And then we've got a special thing going on tonight. And so I want to ask you guys if um, if maybe we can join <clears throat> up uh, just to, we're going to go see Daniel the Bearded Auction Stream maybe. If anyone's interested, uh, they're trying to support Anthony, Bearded Anthony, uh, Bearded Ant uh, 34 for a fundraiser. Um, but let's do the giveaway. I want to do the giveaway uh, for your order. So thank you so much, Waysana, for that. Uh, this is going to be for a $25 gift card to Ferocious. So here we go. This is a bonus gift card. All right. So um, we have got 12 people here. So that means we're going to do one through six. Um, so let me cancel this, 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 this. We got six here. Um, Okay, let's share the screen. All right, and one second. Um, so, so bonus giveaways are generally ten. Bonus gen bonuses are generally ten dollar gift cards. That's how we've been doing it here. Did it? Um, so may have misspoke. If so, sorry about that. But we're also going to do a couple of our own giveaways anyway, uh, since we do that anyway. So, okay, so we have one through six, and oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get ready, get set, go. And Andre, you can type your number again now that we said ready, set, go. So feel free to type your number again. <clears throat> All right, here come the numbers. All right. Ooh. All right, everybody get ready to K okay, zero. So get ready to stop. Okay, so we're gonna pick a number together. Here we go, this will be one through six. That thing spin quickly tonight. Number three. All right, and so, 
It looks like in this case it was it was actually Logan. Um, and Andre, the only reason you didn't win this one uh, is because you typed it before I said go. But Logan, you are the winner of a $10 gift card. Uh, so let me just jot that down. Thanks for Logan. And I think we've... <laughs> Logan, I think we, I think we're all set with the email, right? I think you have an email that I know works for you now, right? We'll just double check that to be sure, because I want to make sure you get that. All right, <clears throat> all right, all good, Nate. All right, cool. Congrats, Logan. So, all right, so here is the ask, guys. Um, we're going to keep streaming here at the Ferocious Friday Free for All, but. They are looking um, for some support over there uh, on uh, Daniel the uh, the Bearded Auctions stream to support Anthony. So if anyone is interested in going over to his stream uh, to jump in on there, if anyone wants to jump in on some auctions, and Ferocious is actually doing some auctions over there as well, um, <clears throat> that would be really helpful uh, because tonight's the night it's going on. Um, and there's a lot of things going on tonight. I just got to... I got, you know, the Bearded Regards going on, uh, and then we've got that going on, that stream. So, you know, Friday is definitely one of those nights where you kind of have to flip through the channels. Yeah, that would be cool to raid Daniel's channel. I would even, I'd be willing to jump in on there if anyone, you know, he sent me a link. But, um, you know, I don't want to just stop the show, but at the same time, I want you guys to, to know that's happening over there. So uh, definitely be interested in uh, seeing if, um, you know, they get some people jumping over there. And then, you know, feel free to jump back here, too, if you want to. Or uh, put one on the TV and then one on your phone or something like that. <clears throat> so, oh, Joshua, did you miss the giveaway this time? Oh, man. Uh, Logan says he's done changing emails. All right. So hopefully you get that other one to work. Because seriously, that, that would be good if you did. I'm sure you probably did. But, hmm. Logan never ever wins. Oh man, <laughs> he wins periodically. All right, just double check my orders here. I want to make sure there wasn't any more. And in fact, we haven't even done our giveaway. I can't like we've had so many here. Oh. Uh. One hour ago, we just got a message from, uh, who was that from? Oh, okay. A shout out to Beard Talk with Kyle and Joe for uh, promoting our save 25% with code BANG. If you guys haven't seen their channel too, Beard Talk with Kyle and Joe is a great channel. I'm um, a subscriber and they've got some really great um, reviews and Beard Talk, great stuff. So. And let's see, we've got eight on here, so that means some people went over to that channel, I hope. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, let me just take a look on the phone here. So what am I missing? Oh, here we go. Here we go. So let's see how many people he's got over on the show right now. Um... All right, so they got 16 over there. Sweet. All right, well, good deal. And we got 10. Uh, let's see, who sent was breakfast time? Well, breakfast time, that was bearded Mike Watson's. Yeah, that was, that was his. Um, getting some smoke ribs from Kyle is a life goal. Mm, yes, I love the cousins. Yeah, oh, me too, man. They're so kind and, you know, supportive of so many, of well, of me, but of all these other companies and all these other people. I just really love the motivation those guys have. And they're just straight up good people. So, really enjoy them. Yeah, they got 16 going on over there, so that's awesome. All right, 
Well, let's see. I'm trying to think of some other things uh, we have here. Let's just do our regular giveaway because we haven't done that yet. And that's really weird. Usually we do it by the first hour. So we're going to do a giveaway. And since we have not done, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do two. We've got 10 people here. We're going to do two giveaways. Um, we're going to do... I'm debating what see here's the thing I like to give you guys choices I like this is why I don't say here today we're gonna give away a lone wolf or today we're gonna give away a sublime because you might not like sublime you might like something else so that's generally why I do the uh, gift cards so so we're gonna do two $25 gift cards um, two winners so the first one we're gonna do right now so here we go this is the giveaway time Suisana, I am too. I'm glad you're here too. I always like seeing you on here, man. Because it's not every week, right? I mean, you know, I know you're busy. I know, you know, things happen, but I'm, I'm glad you're here. Um, oh, you got your, you got yours in like a month ago. Did you, what do you think of that sublime? You got mine in like a month ago. All right. It's good, but you wish you were stronger. Okay, that's good feedback. Especially since we changed the carrier oils and we put um, castor oil and, um, well, mostly the castor is what thickens it. Um, I have been in the process of, like, strengthening some of the scents because with the castor in there, it, that definitely takes some of the scent and um, hides it, really, in the castor. So I, I am in the process, like, as I, as I am making these oils... Of saying you know what yeah this needs to be a little stronger and then adding a little bit extra strength and changing the formula formula on my spreadsheet so all right so first what am I saying first and foremost I don't want to get too far off track because we are in the middle of doing a giveaway so since there are 12 people here uh, we're going to pick a number between one and six please one and six when you see the word go type in one number please between one and six here we go Okay, and you guys can start typing one number, please, between one and six. And here they come. Um, your your gray digs caster. Yeah, I totally get that. And here we go. This is this is what I look for too. I really wanted that bite you can get from lime. It was just a little too mellow, but still a good scent for sure. Just a preferencing. Yeah, sublime. Um, let me see. Okay, the bite. Here's here's exactly what. Here's here, here's how I know that I know what you mean, or here's how you should know. When I make sublime, I make a habit of also adding lime essential oil to it because I also like that. And it could have been that I didn't add enough for the bottle you got because it's just like barbershop when it comes to like like there's imagine like a hill in your head of like a scent. And when it when it when it hits the top, when I've added enough fragrance oil for barbershop, I know that it's correct for me. It has that smell that has passed over the amount that is required to get that that exact smell that I'm looking for. And it's the same thing with the sublime. The sublime is made of well look at that, because it's green, it doesn't show up right. Um it's the the lime the verbena fragrance oil with coconut but what really I try to do to give you that bite you're talking about is to also add the fresh lime essential oil and generally generally I hit the mark but it might be just that for that bottle maybe for some reason it just wasn't quite strong enough so but I generally know exactly what you're talking about because I try to get that bite too that that you get from lime all right so let's put this on even though I know everyone's picked a number this is just for, for me to review later if I need to. Okay. Everybody stop, please. Okay. Now let's pick our number, which is 
one through six. Here we go. Okay, on the count of three, I'll spin. One, two, three. Okay, number three. Number three, let's see who is the first one to get number three. Ryan Maitland, you are the winner. Congratulations of this first $25 gift card. Let me just type your name here. And let me just see to make sure if I have your email address, Ryan. I think I do, but I just want to be sure. Yep. Yes, sir. I sure do. That will be sent this evening. Okay, cool. So that brings us to, and thanks to everybody else for um, participating in that one. So that brings us to the next one. Oh, let's see. When I look for the oil and butter for the Wild West at the collaboration corner on the app site, the orange zing. Oh, let me see that. That that That's a showstopper. Let me see here. Oil and butter for Wild West. Um... Hmm. Just checking something here. Sometimes what happens is when you look for the oil and butter on the Wild West on the collaboration corner on the app site, <clears throat> the orange zing is what comes up. Okay, we are going to do that giveaway. Just let me just check this here. I want to make sure that it's working right. Okay, so I'm opening the app now. So I hit search. And you're saying when you look for the oil and butter for the Wild West. So if I type in Wild West, search. Okay. Oh. That is weird. That's really weird. Because on the website, it comes up as Wild West. You know what? I will have to take a look at that and see what's happening. Um, give me like... Well... As soon as I'm done with this show, I will take care of that. I'm not really sure. Not really sure about that. That is so bizarre, though. And again, I'm sorry I have the screen going on here as I'm talking. Um, that's weird. I will take a look at that and see what's happening. On the website, it works fine, but on the mobile app, I noticed that it doesn't. So I may just have to refresh the mobile app, and that should do the trick. So, But thanks for letting me know about that. Um, aren't seeing... We do a screen show here. All right, I got the screenshot. So that'll let me know exactly where the problem is. All right, so for the second $25 gift card, we're going to, again, pick one number between one and six. There's 11 of us here now, so we're gonna do one through six when you see the word go. So this will be for the second $25 gift card at Ferocia. So here we go. Get ready, get set, and go. Okay. Click on the option. Yeah, no, I definitely see it's an issue. So there's Wild West up there, and yet the orange zing is showing up. And so from my end, what I'm going to see is I'm going to see the orange zing, and I'm going to think that's what you ordered. So no more computer. They all don't. They all only use mobile. <laughs> yeah, I mean, majority of the people that order from Ferocious use the use the not the mobile app, but they use the website on a mobile device. Um. 
Some people also order through the mobile app and some people order on the website. All right, same thing with that create your own. You really want the an the NS byte too. Sure. So that that is definitely something I can do. Um, it'll just require using, you know, obviously it uses more more anis. So All right. All right, and everybody stop. And now let's pick a number together. This will be for the second $25 gift card. Okay, on the count of three, we'll go ahead and spin. You can see we've got six numbers up there. So here we go. One, two, three. Oh, number two this time. Number two. The first person that I see to pick is Lenny Bearded Beast Dad. Let me just jot that down. Congratulations. Um, Bearded Beast Dad. All right. And I have both of your email addresses. I've got yours and I've got yours, Ryan. So should be good to go. I'll be sending those off later this evening after the broadcast. So congratulations. Very nice. Um, remove that. Cool. Whew. Oh, we've done quite a bit of giveaways tonight. Um, in fact, let me just uh, highlight these. So well, I usually highlight these so I'll know which one to, like what I need to do. I'll highlight them yellow. And then once I'm done, I will highlight them green so I know that I've taken care of them. So this, this this all right so so in total tonight because of the uh, mobile app orders we let's see that was 50 plus uh camel cam 125 so that's 75 we did two ten dollar gift cards so that's 95 plus another two 25 dollar gift cards so 145 dollars worth of giveaways um tonight that's not bad uh, let's see. I don't really see lime having a bite. It's more of a fresh scent to me. So it's fresh, but there's a certain. So I have two lime fragrant, uh, two lime essential oils. I've got one now from a company called. Um, well, it's this company. This is this is eucalyptus, but it's the same company, Oracasha. These guys, to me, do lime right. These guys make lime taste like taste the smell like a fresh squeezed lime. There's another company. Do I have a bottle over here? Let me see. Yeah, I have another bottle. This is a company called Now. Wow, the label's green, so. But it's called Now. They also make a lime essential oil, but to me, their lime essential oil is, um, it's, to me, it tastes like a lime lollipop more than fresh lime. And so I always, for those, like, for um, the sublime, I use the fresh, the one from Orakasha because I just like it better. And with that, with that lime, fresh squeezed lime, that's that's the one I'm looking for. So um, let's see. Thanks, guys. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it can be either one. I think the bite is from the freshly shredded or cut limes. Yeah, like you know, like when you squeeze a lime and then smell your fingers, like that lime right there. That's the bite. I that's the one I like. Um. If, if that might be the one you're thinking about too let's see thank you Nate you're generally appreciated oh it's my pleasure absolutely I want I want you guys to like experience these products and I want you guys to you know if you get a gift card and maybe you'll add something else or maybe you won't but maybe later you'll come back and get something once you've tried it if you haven't tried it yet so I enjoy this these giveaways these shows um, in fact you know we pay extra uh, to be on a plan to be able to give away gift cards because I want you guys to um, you know when things that are also easy for me to fulfill like I can just get your name and email address and I can send it to you you can fill out your address when you order it um, if I am filling out your address your name your email address uh, and everything it um, I've known in the past one of my things that I that I've had issues with is making sure to not only register you as a customer but then you know I've got to do that then 
fulfill the order and what if it's something you don't like you know what i mean so i don't want to send you like a wild west if you want a orange cream pop and you can make your own decision so but but yeah it's my pleasure and you know this is to me like you know part of the deal with running a business is um you do giveaways and i enjoy that it, it you know gets you guys to try things that you might not otherwise have had a chance to try uh, it gives everybody a fair shot at it. And you guys are following me. So you guys are the ones that, you know, I want to be able to reward you if I can periodically. So uh, let's see. Like the oil that comes out of your skin when you squish it. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to get a visual on that one, but it's not working. <laughs> Oh, um, what is it's? There's an event I'm gonna be at in Fort Worth. Uh, the when I get back from New England, it's gonna be July 23rd, which is a Friday. So I won't be doing the show that night, uh, unless I broadcast periodically. I'll just probably I no, I, there's no way I can do a broadcast a full broadcast from the show, but I'll be doing a show on the 23rd. The 24th, which is a Saturday, all day into the evening, and then Sunday, the 25th, from I think like 10 or 11 to 5 p.m. So that's going to be in Fort Worth on the Trinity River. I will give you guys um, some updates about where exactly it's going to be. Um, there's going to be probably, from what I understand, about 40,000 people that show up at this event. And it's basically this, this six story tall rubber duck it's going to be in the trinity river it's um it's basically a feel-good event and it's just going to be great to get out and meet with people again so um logan yeah just you're talking about the peel yeah oh like the oil that comes out of the peel skin got you yeah you just got a pimple popping visually yeah exactly that's what i got to <laughs> no no that's all right though it's uh you know words are important so i totally get it <laughs> but it's all good oh josh well thank you needs a phenomenal company owner just saying top notch appreciate you man really do very much uh michael lee hey neat paul what's going on brother good to see you man hope you're doing well we are uh probably just about ready to wrap up the show because it's almost 10 o'clock um, but uh, really glad you guys are um, really glad you guys are here. Um, let's see. I heard another beer company talking about that a few days ago. And he said it's like three blocks wide. It's going to be huge. I really can't wait to go. Um, Martin, thank you so much. Great company owner and customer service top notch 100%. I tell you what, guys. Customer service is so important to me. It really is. And I want you guys to know that I always have your back. If you get something you don't like, you let me know. I'd be happy to swap it out. I don't have like a 30-day warranty or whatever. Or you, you don't have to send it back to me. I trust your judgment. If something you think you might want to order, you, you get it. And it doesn't work out for you for whatever reason, let me know. I'll be happy to swap it out. That's, that's what I'm all about. That's that's important, you know. There's so many people that feel like they've wasted their money when they buy something, and you should never ever feel. I feel like you should never feel like, well, there's another twenty bucks I won't ever get back because I don't like this, and you throw it in the trash or something, and you're or you give it to somebody and you're stuck with nothing. If there's something you don't like, let me know. Seriously, happy to help you guys out. You know, there's a ton of choices out there. Uh, everybody wants to spend your money, and. So just, you know, just letting you know how we differ from other companies. So, all right, guys. Um, thanks, Nate, for all you do. You're welcome. Absolutely. Swixana says, peace, everyone. Stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. And on that note, I hope you guys have a really great 4th of July weekend. Be very careful out there with your fireworks. I know people are going to be launching fireworks and having fun and celebrating the uh, 4th of July which rightfully so. Uh, just be careful out there. All right. Have a great weekend. We will see you on Tuesday for the free for all. I will be there. I know last Tuesday we didn't do it. I was wrapping up a couple of things with a day job, but um, have a great weekend and we'll see you hopefully on Tuesday and next Friday for sure on the free for all.
Take care, guys. Peace.